It's Michelle Barada from Bella Branch DIY. I hope everyone's having an awesome day. It is 90 degrees in San Diego today, so it is not exactly fall weather, but I did put together four fall decorating ideas that I think you guys are gonna love. So you guys ready? Let's go. Our first project is a fall wreath. This is a super cute project. And we're gonna start with a 14 inch base, which is like a metal wreath base. And we're going to start with the bulkiest pieces at the bottom, which is the greenery. And in this case, mine's kind of an ombre sage with a little pale pink uh, leaves. And we're going to hot glue it down. And then I took some floral wire and I took it in gold and just wrapped it around to make it even more secure. And then I'm going to take the same wire so that I can put the leaves the shape of the circle of the wreath base and secure that in the different areas just so it keeps the curve. Then I took some flowers and these are kind of a pinkish mauve tone and hot glued those down right on top of the leaves. And then I'm going to continue adding and adding different layers of different uh, pieces. And the next one I used were kind of like a baby's breath which had a lot of white and cream color and I just um, took some hot glue and stuck those in right behind the flowers. And really there's no wrong way to do any of this. It's just whatever it catches your eye and you just kind of layer different pieces and you can move things around. So these are kind of a, a like a pussy willow with that have like a, a fallish hue. And I took some wire and made a little bouquet of them so that it was easier to add them to the wreath. And then, and then I took the rest of that wire and wrapped it around as well. Then you could take some hot glue and add some of that to the back to make it even more secure in different areas. And then I just kept layering. I put some white flowers, I put some, some little buds, they look like little flower buds, uh, and some greenery, and that's really it. Project number two are some fall signs. The first one we're gonna do is literally one that says fall. And we're gonna paint this balsa wood frame that I got at Michael's, paint it all white. And then we're gonna take the color, which is kind of a fallish orange color, and write the word fall across it. And then I took some pink paint and painted the border, and then did a quick touch of a purpley gray color along the edge. Super easy and quick. Project number three are the pumpkin frames. And these are tiny little balsa wood frames. And we're just gonna draw or paint our pumpkins. And I took some pink tones and did the base color. And then the other one took an orange tone and painted the base of the pumpkin there as well. And then we're gonna take a darker color, it's kind of a brownish color, and we're gonna outline it. And there literally is no wrong way of doing this. And you can see that I don't make the lines completely filled in. I kind of make it uh, where it drags along the edge. And we're gonna do that on both of them. Really easy project. Look how cute, a pink pumpkin, how cute is that? And then you can see that um, I made it distressed by taking some, like a sanding block, you can use any kind of you know, sandpaper. And then we're just gonna add some ribbon or you can add the string like I did on the back and that way you could hang it and I added it in the center of a wreath on the door. Project four is a wheat candle holder. This one's so cute for votive candle holder, super, super cute. We're just gonna take a stalk of wheat that I got at Michael's and we're gonna cut off the long stems and then we're gonna just add the wheat along the bottom of a votive glass. And we're just gonna continue around. You could do this with any kind of uh, floral that you find at the, like at the craft store. It's really, really cute doing it with wheat. And you wanna make sure, the reason I was showing you putting it down 
uh, the bottom is to make sure that the bottom of the wheat is just right at the edge so when it's sitting down it'll sit flat on the tabletop and just keep adding all the way around and if you get some that are too long it's so easy to just trim them so we're just going to take you can use a scissors or you can take any kind of little cutting shears that you have and clip the bottom and then that way you can shorten the wheat stalk and just add the hot glue and just fill in the spaces This is such a cute and elegant votive and I can totally see it at a Thanksgiving table along the whole table. Then I took some velvet ribbon and I just tied it across the middle and you can do anything you want. You can make it into a bow, a knot. I chose to do a knot, just a simple knot. So then I'm gonna take the ends of the velvet ribbon and put a little hot glue so that it holds it down. And you can do really whatever. If you don't want it to be held down, you can totally do it that way too. Then I took some twine and folded my string in half so that the center of the string is going to be in the back and it'll just help secure it down so it's not going to slide off of the ribbon. And then I just brought it around and then tied it in a knot. This is such a cute, cute votive and when it's lit it just looks so fallish, like you'd be having a latte sitting next to this. I hope you loved all these projects, and I decorated my front porch with pretty much everything that we just made. And I put the wheat votive holder on my pink piano. I hope you guys loved today's DIYs. I think they turned out so cute and they were so easy and so fun. And I think my favorite was the pumpkins, the ones that were inside the wreaths. I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment and let me know what you think about today's DIYs. And if you try them, I really wanna know about that. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new DIYs are ready. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.